Hey guys, so <clears throat> I want to talk about a few things that I, I carry, um, mainly the uh, tier one access holster, or I guess it goes like this, like that, and the um, Fox uh, 599 uh, trainer karambit. So I'll start off with talking about the access holster. It actually comes put together like that without one of these clips, obviously. Um, I found that for my body type, it did not work. Um, for you guys in a wheelchair, you know, you get, you know, in your stomach area because we can't, you know, not all of us can work it out, you know, to our lower abs. Um, it might require a little bit of stretching and because I'm fat. Um, it required me to actually take the um, string, whatever you want to call it, off of this part of it that would hold this together and make it into two separate ones. Now, I like it like that because um, it actually kind of sits, it's meant to sit like this with a little bit of flex. But I, when, I take, when I took the string out, it widened it and enabled it to flex a little bit more. One of the reasons I did that was I carry every day and I have kids. And when they would sit on my lap, I noticed my son would constantly say, something's digging into me. It wasn't the magazine. It wasn't the, uh, the butt of the pistol. It was the way this could make a sharp point and it made, him, made it uncomfortable for him. And I didn't like that. I didn't like him knowing that I had a firearm on, on me. I did not like how uncomfortable it made him. So aside from that, this holster is uh, very, very good. The holster is the mag caddy carrier, whatever you want to call it. The only thing I would want to say was that if you look on the back, this is the end of where the magazine is. So you got probably a good inch, inch and a half worth of extra shit. And I get, you know, it can go, you know, it's to adjust the ride height. But I've seen ones where it's over here. So I'm not a particular fan of that. Mostly because when I put the extra mag in, in my pants, which I always carry an extra mag, this portion right here digs into me. So I might uh, take a Dremel and just kind of even that off to more of a... Uh, not as sharp point because as a lot of people in wheelchairs know, especially if you can't feel below your waist, something could be there for, you know, it's not gonna hurt you, it's gonna feel fine, but you can get sores, you can get, um, you know, just shit that you don't want to happen to your legs. You know, I've had uh, magazines, uh, magazine holsters where I didn't realize that it was catching on me, and I'd reinsert my mag, say, on a um, admin reload, and my skin would get caught on the back side of this. Not this one particularly, but, you know, you can see it. It would get caught back here, and I ended up actually with a couple cuts and bruises from that. So, just something you guys want to be aware of. The, uh, the Fox 599 Karambit. Uh, I carry it. I don't practice with it as much as I probably should, but the wave feature on this, the little hook portion right here, it's meant to catch on your clothing or, you know, something like similar. Um, I really like it. You know, I mean, it's heavy enough where, like I said in the previous video, I don't have to carry a live blade for this to be considered a self-defense tool. I mean, you know, it, it's fairly heavy. And like I said, you know, if you want to jack someone in the face with just, you know, an undeployed karambit like that, this, I'll put it over here, that spot right there, you jack someone in the face with it or any part of the body, they're going to feel it. So, you know, that's one of the things. And one of the other things that I constantly um, train 
and you can find it on the Fox uh, 599 cramp video with Doug Markaita. You know, it's out there. Um, it's just the flail, and he talks about the clock system. So this is uh, 1 to 7, 11 to 5 with the flail. Take it back, 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Now, if this was a real blade, obviously it would do some damage. So, you know, it's just something to train, you know. You know, just to get the feel of it. You know, which, you know, with, you know, I've seen a lot of uh, Karambit videos. Someone's fucking around with this when it has a point and an edge to it, end up with big gashes. So if you're thinking about fucking with a karambit, get a trainer. And if you wanna take it even further to, you know, self-defense that has some resistance to it, get yourself a blade buddy. So just wanted to touch on that real quick. It just, it came into my, my mind today while I was going to get stuff for dinner. So um, if you like it or have any questions, leave it in the comments. Uh, subscribe to me, please. I really appreciate it. And uh, Happy New Year, guys.